Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not 100% sure how many people are going to come in for this. I think people seem to like watching Tennis World Tour more. I find, I find AO Tennis just extremely frustrating to play at the moment. Like, I think if they just purely focused on, on, on this game for the foreseeable future and, and just didn't think about anything else for like the next maybe a decent game, but history suggests otherwise with uh, the way they the way they just abandon their games, so I still think people need to give Tennis World to a time to uh, to um, you know to improve because I mean it's only it hasn't even been out for a week yet, so. And you know, we're still still waiting for the for the PS4 patch, which you know is a little bit annoying. But obviously, they had a problem sorting out sorting out the issue they had with it. So hopefully, that's coming today, so that way I can uh, give my opinions on the update. It does appear that the Xbox version uh, had uh, you know you could hear the crowd and all that sort of stuff. So that was that was somewhat useful. Uh, who should I pick? Da 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 Um... Oh, we've got two Nick Kyrgios's, that's handy. Um... This should be interesting, playing on Legend. Uh... Johnny McEnroe! Play as Chilich, my created version of Chilich. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where's Raonic? He's down here somewhere, I think. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I actually think the person who created Raonic actually did a pretty good job considering the basic, uh, the basic abilities you have in the creation system. Ah, uh, court should I play on? I think I, I need to download some more courts. Uh, let's play on hard. I'll chuck that up to legend day, so I don't have any frame rate issues. I have noticed there's still some frame rate issues with uh, with the what do you call it with the night matches. And then occasionally during the day and the afternoon, there's some frame rate issues, which was meant to be fixed, but I don't really know what happened there. One thing they really need to improve at some point or, or another is loading times. Loading times are ridiculous in this game, but like in reality, it's probably never gonna never gonna change. Uh, which game do you prefer, AO or Tennis World Tour? Personally, I prefer playing Tennis World Tour. Like. Obviously, it hasn't got the customization, but how do you feel about the movement in this game? To me, it feels like the players feel stiff compared to tennis. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like, some of the movements are very jerky, and you'll like it. It will, it will appear as though the player teleports, or they just go. Yeah, you know, they they enter some sort of warp speed, and then they suddenly reach the ball. I got a few French Open videos going up where it happens a lot in almost every single point. Uh, I need to adjust the audio before I get blasted in the head. Uh, blasted in the head. Blasted in the ears. Uh, crowd. I'll... Don't really need to hear the announcer that much. Turn some of these down. Ladies right. and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to this exhibition match. match. Please, Please give it up for the players, players as they, they take, take to the court. court. Yeah, there's definitely... Yeah, the player... Yeah, it... A lot of the movement feels stiff. It, it doesn't feel... Feel fluent. Uh, and it, yeah, it gets a little bit... It gets a little bit tedious. Oh, am I? That's... <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do them every day. Oh. 
file. Horrible serve. Well, won the first point. Oh, I really hate the way the net sounds. The way the net sounds really annoys me. You don't need to say fault. We heard the... We heard the little sound. You don't need to say fault. I don't know why he played. Why didn't it see? This is where I think it'd be good if they could implement an AI, uh, like adaptive AI, because they they tend to play the same way in every single game. Um, like apart from the fact that. There's a lot of baseline play, which it it pretty much is. They never come to the net. Let's oh, got so lucky with that. Yeah, th it really needs to be variety, variety uh, in play styles because at the moment it's all just the same. Damn it. And are you going to stream on a daily basis in the future? Well, I've streamed every day since since Tuesday, so I'm going to keep it up for as long as I can. Oh, God, mighty. Eventually, I'll get better better equipment uh, to use. No. Game Didn't even sound like she pronounced that right. Sound like she said Bownitch. At least through my head headset it did anyway. I feel like I heard something. I hope we've got pro problems with possums here. I hope that wasn't the bloody possum trying to get on into the roof again. Uh, yeah, in top sim four, each player had a play style. Like some would be volleyers, some would be defensive. Yeah, yeah, like like Federer for example, he would come to the net. Uh, like he would serve and volley a reasonable amount. Uh, so too like Pat Pat Rafter. So at least you had you had some variety in that. It wasn't all just. Ba ba baseline, baseline battles. I mean, in some instances, instances baseline battles are are okay, are okay but uh, it get it gets a little bit annoying, especially when you when you're not when you're not always given the time to aim aim properly. Because the aiming marker moves very slowly now, I've noticed they've adjusted that again. It's not as sensitive, so it doesn't move as quickly across the court. Ah! 40, 50. I was doing all right in the first first game on my service game. Now, will he double fault again? I've noticed they double fault a fair bit once they fault on the first serve. No, not this time. See, I think one thing that really looks weird in this game is the forehands. Like, unless you've got it set to, I think it's, uh, players. I've replied to your messages. I I can't do share play. My connection is not fast enough. I I literally cannot do share play. It won't even start. That's why I can't do it. I realised that when one of the other guys asked me, 
about it. So yeah, I can't I can't do share play until my internet connection is far better. Game balance. Game balance. Yeah, I can't I can't play. Uh, I can't do share play. So there's not much I can do. Australia, where internet is at its shittest. Put it this way, our internet in Australia, is, like I think we're ranked 58th in the world for internet speed. Where we're ranked behind some third world countries. That's how that's how slow our internet here is here in Australia. Because the government doesn't think we need uh, faster speeds. Which is pretty, which is pretty frustrating. Because I mean, we really do need fast speed, especially businesses. Businesses struggle because of it. What's up? Ah! The NBA, the NBA boss reckons it's too expensive to make it better. It isn't economically viable. I reckon that's a load of horseshit, to be honest. Love yeah, it is stupid. I hate it. But I mean, as some of you know, I don't. Oh, some of you know, I don't even have the MBN yet, so 15, I'm still on even older technology. Two, two, two. Of course it is. 30, Wouldn't want me getting in the lead, would you? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to play this until... Uh, why don't you... I've got my own internet, what do you mean? I don't, I don't share it with anyone. This is my own, my own home internet, but it, it it's not quick enough in Australia. Like, the whole country has horrible internet. The fastest speed anyone can get is 100 megabytes per second. And even then, not many people get 100 megabytes per second. It's maybe like 95 at best. Education, sciences, and just for 4K and 8K coming in the future, it needs to be future-proof. Servers. I, I don't have multiple servers. I, I've just got one internet connection. That's it. I don't play. I, I don't. I don't play off a server. Advantage. It's all done through telecommunication companies. How did that even go over the net? Game yeah, so just in case anyone didn't see, uh, yeah, I'm playing on Legend. Yeah, 10 me megabytes per second won't be enough either. Mine's 13 megabytes per second, and it, and it will not, it will not start share play on on a low on a low download speed. I'm lucky I'm even able to stream. I don't even know how the stream works. Yeah, with uh, with our with the NBN, like they're gonna have to upgrade to the next level soon. Uh, might have might have go 4G plus and get unlimited speed of found in the Melbourne CBD it's like 120 megabytes per second plus yeah I've heard the 4G and then the 5G network is going to be even faster than the MBN which is just bloody sad if you ask me um, one thing I have oh uh, I was talking to Adam on Twitter 
the other day and, and he shared speeds with it with me he said the library goes to at uni uh or somewhere where he went a library uh they had 500 megabytes upload uh, download speed and 500 upload so there, there's proof it's in the country so why don't like it, it'll probably be like 10 years before they roll that out for the rest of the country maybe more probably 20 years which by then will be even further behind Let's second it's just it's just ridiculous how how far behind we are for such a isolated uh nation and well continent obviously Yep, seems about right. Only problem is with 4G and then 5G, which is coming out. I mean, obviously, if you use like, uh, you can get a second connection added to your property and say it's for work, etc., and join, bridge the two t together to have two together and you can have the rest of your message was cut off it, it cut off after you and you scam a tennis personally I prefer tennis world tour but I know a fair amount of people who watch watch my videos prefer AO tennis so each to their own Oh, come on, stop reaching the ball. You can have like 170 megabytes per second. Uh, send me a further message about that on Twitter. Because I think that's something I'm definitely going to have to do. If, uh, particularly if I end up... 30, particularly if I end up u doing YouTube for a job in the future. Because I'm going to have to have... Uh, a damn good speed. There's some equipment you can buy that joins two connections together into one. I'll definitely have to look into that. All right, yeah. Send me uh, send me a message more, about, uh, like a because obviously the messages get cut off after a certain amount of letters. I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, send me a message about it on Twitter. Uh, yeah, we'll have a bit more of a discussion about it because that sounds like a Fantastic idea. Like obviously it wouldn't it wouldn't be cheap, but uh, yeah, if it if it helps doing this kind of thing like streaming and all that sort of stuff, I'm all for it. Ah, uh, oh, works wonders once you have MBN. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, if you can get more than double, Whoa. double the speeds, why not, eh? Do you do that through straight through your provider, or how do you, how do you go about that? Of course. I still can't decide which tennis game to get. Neither AO or Tennis World Tour look all that great, but I want a tennis game. Damn it. Yeah. Personally, I'd I'd wait. Uh to see what happens with future updates that's out. Game balance. Game balance. Of course it was. No. Oh, that was nearly out. Love the thing. God. I've got the timing meter off, so this isn't uh, ideal. Love of course it is. Come on, ace him. Oh my god, I can't get over the net now. 
Alright, there we go. Hey! That horrible net sound. Ha! Ha! Oh, that's one way to get back into it. Oh, yeah, that'd be right. Beep. Oh, I keep poorly timing everything. Oh, just got that. Yes. Rally average 12. That's like... 7 or 8 more than the average in real life. Ball. Damn it. Ah. No. Advantage down. Shit. Game down. So as most people can see, drop shots don't really do anything anymore because even though quite often the CPU is or AI is beyond the baseline, they can still reach a drop shot, which you know, just sent you a link on Twitter that, to an article that explains the process and how another YouTuber did it. Oh yeah. Drop shots are not good. They're absolutely horrible. Like they've gone, they've gone too far the the other way. Like the amount of bounce that they get and the fact that. The fact that the the AI can get from beyond the baseline to the net, you shoot top spin down left or down right with stick. It gets a bit repetitive though if you're just going left, right, drop shot, left, right, drop shot. I prefer a bit of variety, but that's just me. I've had a few people telling me how to play on the on YouTube. Hey, another net point. I hate when the ball hits the net. Oh, it's just such a such a weird sound. Seven winners each, that doesn't sound right. Oh, it's probably because I've had a thousand unforced errors. Yeah. <laughs> at least I, at least I got the net sound right, yeah. Deuce. Deuce. Don't want to be caught out saying juice again. Oh, there's that weird teleportation animation. What the hell? That hit the ball like before the baseline almost. That hit the the ball hit the baseline pretty much and then started ro rolling. It's probably one of the weirdest things I've seen. Anyway. For the life of me, I can't time anything now.
Of course it is. See, the AI can return. Fifteen love. Oh, by the way, uh, Samuel, I've seen, uh, I've seen Bale's goal and Carius's uh, blunders. Liverpool need a new keeper. <laughs> I said that to, a, I said that to a mate, mate of mine, uh, a few months ago. It seems incredibly. It seems you have to be incredibly accurate with your shots in both AO and Tennis World Tour, endless faults or and outs in pretty much all the videos I've watched. I think Tennis World Tour is a little bit a little bit easier. This one, like the aiming's a little bit slow now. Like it used to be really sensitive. But Yeah, the the aiming market doesn't move as quickly as what it used to. They've slowed that right down. Ah, oh, bitch. 15, yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, 15, I'll, I'll, I'm not surprised they're fuming. Uh, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, wow. And then obviously, yeah, I saw, I saw Mo Salah's injury. Some people are actually blaming Sergio, Sergio Ramos. From what I saw, it wasn't much. It wasn't much that could be done about it. Yay! I won a game on Legend. Hooray! Obviously, if you, obviously, if I timed a lot more shots, uh, 18 unforced errors says it all, really. If I'd timed a lot more shots, I probably would have won a lot more points. Like, you look at it. He only won 29 points, and I won 18. Any improvements? Uh, after the last patch, which is this patch, uh, it, it like, to me, the game got worse. Like, they've, they've made... They've made the AI... I don't know. It, it, there's, a lot, there's a lot wrong with the game that's still... That still needs to be, still needs to be fixed. Movement, player movement is, it's just poor. It it really needs to be worked on, but unfortunately, Big Ant have this habit of doing this in every one of their games. M player movement is is just bad. It, it's never been good in any of their games, um, and they have a, in almost every game they have this jerky movement, where. Like in rugby league, when they get the ball, they'll go from a, they'll be running, and then all of a sudden they'll stop to start running again when they catch a ball. In the in in the cricket games, when a catch is taken, they they don't look like they're going to get to the catch, and then all of a sudden they have a jerky motion where they just suddenly appear where the ball is and then catch it. It seems like every every sports game that they've released, they've had this problem and they've never fixed it. They do it in every single game they put out, so I don't expect AO Tennis to to improve on it either. Because they seem to be focused on other, adding other features, which I think like, they should just fix what's wrong with the game first, in my opinion. But there's plenty of people that love the game and they don't like listening to criticism, so it is what it is. Realistically, how many more patches are they going to do? Given Big Ant's history, yeah, that's that's what I'm wondering too, because that that that's the other point. Like, I, I don't like to keep ra ragging on them, uh, bagging on them, but their history says it all. Really, they they love to release a game and then and then just move on to the next very quickly. They, they've been making so many games over the past two years, which is just stupid for such a small company. I had to buy one game, which would I pick? Knowing what I know now, I wouldn't buy either. I don't recommend buying either right now. I I personally enjoy playing Tennis World Tour more, but I don't recommend anyone buy either game right now. Both games, like, uh, AO Tennis needs a hell of a lot of work. But 
I get the feeling player movement is one thing that will never be improved. They're already talking about working on other aspects of the game, so... You know, uh... Oh, that reminds me. I've got to change... Got to change, uh... Agassiz's bloody grunt. Uh, where is it? Can everyone see this? Whoever... Who, the person who created Andre Agassi gave him Rafael Nadal's grunt. Like, seriously. Like, what is the point of that? As if, as if that even makes sense. Because I uploaded a video, I think it was... I think it was Agassi versus... Oh, who was it? Oh, I can't think who it was, but yeah, he had Nadal's... Thanks, it's out on the first, but may wait until it's been fixed. Yeah, well, that Mike dude from Big Ant mentioned that movement and timing is a long-term fix for them. Yeah, yeah, I remember, you, I remember you saying that. I think I remember reading that on Planet Cricket, but... The fact that a lot of people... The, the fact that a lot of people don't complain about it, or the ones that do get blocked on Twitter and, and YouTube, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if Ross overrides that Mike guy and just... Uh, you just saw Solo announce 2am. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go see it in cinemas. I might wait until it's on DVD. I'm sort of 50-50 on it. Uh, where is he? I can see... Where's that other player I was thinking of? Has any patches come out for Tennis World Tour? No, not yet. Not on. Uh, well, on, that's, that's technically incorrect. On Xbox One, there is a patch, and it fixes the crowd atmosphere and uh, and a couple other things gameplay-wise. Uh, there is, a, I think, there's at least one video on YouTube that uh, a few people have shared, and uh, yeah, the gameplay looks a little bit better. Uh, still, still got a long way to go, but. Ah, Marcelo, Marcelo Rios, that's who I was thinking of. Um, but, um, yeah, I'll do Rios. But, yeah, like, um, yeah, the, the PS4 patch isn't out yet, so that's a bit annoying. Um... Rios had sweet strokes. I don't think I ever really, uh, I don't think I ever really got to see him play. For anyone wondering, one thing, one thing they'll probably never fix in this game is loading times, because in all their other games, loading times are very long too. It, 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 apparently, it's about forty seconds, which is ridiculous. Tennis World Tour loads in the like in under ten seconds. I've got a $40 EB voucher, gonna put it towards Tennis World Tour if gameplay is better, lol. In commas, if. Yeah, it, it, it looks decent on Xbox. Uh, the PS4 version hasn't got that update yet, so we're still waiting. Because people keep asking me, oh, is, is you know, when I do live streams and that, oh, is this, is this, has this got the update yet? Is it, has this got the update? And I just go, <sighs> no. Because chances are... Shut up. Shut up, announcer. What a rude guy. They use loading times to put in the tutorials. Yeah, funny thing is, they've got the tutorials in there now, so maybe they can get rid of that and focus on quicker loading times. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. We can dream, though.
Have you worked our way to t uh, turning off the random... Ah, uh, no. It, it's just a random thing that happens. It's not like... Personally, I'd rather that just be... Oh my god. Uh, that's... Uh, I'm assuming that's Italian. I don't speak Italian. Uh, yeah. I would rather that be... I'd rather that be like a special shot rather than just something random that happened. Or the small... Uh, was it this morning? Yeah, this morning. I almost bought an Xbox One just for Top Spin 4's backwards compatibility. Does it play on the Xbox One? I didn't know that. I've only I've only got a uh, PS4 and PS3 because I still play uh, I still play Top Spin on the PS4 uh, la, 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 PS3 rather every now and then. Of course it was. Come on, Agassi, get your head in, the, head in the game. Ah! Love yeah, I was going to say I didn't think they had had the uh, had the ability to do, do that. Oh dear! All right, gonna have to turn that uh, bloody stamina balance thing on. I'm getting annoyed with it. Do you think Tennis World Tour will receive more updates like AO, uh, like, like than AO? To be fair, a lot of the AO tennis updates haven't really done anything. They've only released maybe. Uh, would you say maybe four or five major updates, uh, Craig? It's probably like four or five major ones. Aussies were great in the 90s with Rafter and Philippoussis. Yeah, Philippoussis had a lot of problems though, but yeah, Rafter I definitely agree with. And then obviously we had the emergence of uh, Leighton Hewitt. Oh dear. Game yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So we've only had like five. So Dennis, we've only had like five major patches. So all the other ones have just been for the game crashing and things like that. They haven't really actually done anything gameplay wise. Those like there's been twenty five patches. Yeah, he definitely did right like oh, it was amazing watching Rafter. Uh yeah, so there's been twenty five patches twenty four, twenty five patches for the game, and only about five of them have actually been things that have implemented things into the game or changed gameplay. The rest of them have just been minor things to fix crashes and and things that weren't working properly and so on and so forth so yeah 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 it's pretty yeah so it's pretty much five so in my opinion I think Tennis World Tour has got a big chance to to override them and it sounds like they're going to release a couple of patches before the 12th of June larger larger um, release yeah double fault uh, you should play Top Spin on your channel. Uh, I have I have played it a bit. I haven't played it for a couple of days though. Um, I've I have put up a few Top Spin four videos on on the career. I ended up buying this for now. Tennis World Tour is apparently a mess. Well, this is a mess too. So it's like something mind boggling. Boggling though. I tried the online and you can't choose courts. It's always Melbourne. Know how to change this. You can only change that uh, Washington DC is a mess. Yeah, that uh, yeah, that's a that's that's a whole different story. Uh, Donald Trump is a wanker. Uh, yeah, no, nah, there's no way of changing the Melbourne court that I've seen. It's just because it's a quick match. The only way you can use another court is doing custom matches. And if you do a custom match, they don't count towards the leaderboard. They don't count for anything. It's just a match, match for nothing, basically. That's the only way you can change the stadium. Whoa. Apparently that's from the campaign movie. Oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. I'll so wait for a couple of Tennis World Tour updates then. Yeah, like, I've, I've said to a few people, wait for a little while. and s Damn it. Wait for a little while and see what, and see what happens. Yeah, no, that's all good. 
15. Why won't you let me ace like that? Oh yeah, because the AO's got ridiculous reach. I love how the, the timing meter, it goes green and then all of a sudden it goes red. I love that. That's so awesome. Is he going to double fault? Give me another point from a double fault. I oh, dare you. Do you think AO Tennis could do s with some commentary like Grand Slam Tennis 2 and Ashes Cricket? No. Ashes, oh, I hate, oh, hated Ashes Cricket commentary. It sounded so forced. And often it didn't relate to anything that was happening in, in, in the gameplay. Hold my beer. I hope I'm not late or too late. Uh, I've been going for about 40 minutes. Yeah, Michael Slater. I, uh, he's probably one of the best commentators to put in there, but it just sounds so forced. Like, I'd rather he not have a script, and, and I'd rather they just get him to watch gameplay... And then and then commentate on it. Why can't they do it that way? I'd rather they did it like that. But obviously, ah. the server is challenging the, the call on the left far side. The ball was called out. Oh, look at that! There you go. A correct overturn. Has three challenges remaining. Fifteen love. I hope people saw that. I you can actually overturn a challenge. Wow, what power! Yeah, McEnroe is really bad. That's an example of just plain awful commentary. Risk. It's challenging the call on the right far sideline. The ball was called in. The receiver has two challenges remaining. Yeah, see, a lot of people say, oh, they should take a, a leaf out of... Uh, Ah, uh, custom player. Uh, a lot of people should take so much for challenges being useless, according to Big Ben. Oh, I'm pretty good at challenges in this game and full ace, for the most part. I, I get, a, I tend to get a lot of ones overturned, uh, more so in full ace than this. Uh, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people say these games could do with following how NBA 2K does their commentary. What I think they do is, I think they get, because the commentators, hello, because the commentators do, like they are actually commentators from the NBA, I think they extract their commentary on, you know, on the, uh, on the games themselves, like from, from live games, and then convert them, you know, into the game. Uh, yeah. So, but even even the even the even the pre-match uh, panel with Shaq, uh, Ernie, and oh, uh, what's the other guy's name? I can't think it. Uh, but yeah, even that has more. It, it it's got more flow to it. Yeah. Thirty fifteen. Yeah, they don't really do a halftime show at uh, at the moment. They used to. Uh, this or Tennis World Tour. Uh, I prefer playing Tennis World Tour, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend buying either game at the moment. I wouldn't recommend buy anyone buying. Somebody once told me that World is going to roll me. What? People reckon the ESPN, ESPN halftime. ESPN coverage is pretty good for for the NBA.
stuff on NBA Live is better. Yeah, shame I can't I can't even get into the NBA draft. It it, it will not let me get past the NBA draft. It just it just crashes. Smash Mouth. That's a good band. What was that? What was that sound? Fifteen love. Oh, I didn't get the reference. I only just caught that comment. Yeah, the fluidity looks yeah looks better in Tennis World Tour. Yeah, I know I know the song. What is that? It's like a weird buzzing sound. It's like di di. Yeah. Oh God, that net sound. Cannot stand that net sound. Bleh. Bleh. Let's. Let's. Second server. How's the online? Uh, I'm assuming you mean in this game, because... God almighty. 14, oh, online in here depends on your connection. If you've got a slow connection, or if you've got a lot of people using the, using the uh, bandwidth... Game ...in your house, it, it, uh, it just sounds awful. It sounds awful. It plays awful. There's a lot of lag. There's a lot of errors that occur. Like shots go over over on the sidelines and on the baseline, but they're not called out. And then shot. And then you win points. And sometimes they're given to your opponent. What is in the patch 1.25? Not much. It was a 12 gigabyte patch that did absolutely bugger all, really. Um, so apparently they improved and balanced AI. They made court types play differently, although they all seem to play the same to me. Clay, grass, hard court, they don't seem to play any different. Uh, tennis World Tour roster is bad. Well, AO Tennis has only got 20, 20 licensed players. The only, the only reason why you see like Agassi and Rios and all these other players is because of their customization. That, that That's probably the only thing I would give uh, AO Tennis over Tennis World Tour. It's the only thing I'd give them. Fifteen Yeah, there's not much in the patch. I failed to see why it was 12 gigabytes. I really do. I know people think the update was great, but I mean... Given how little it did, and, and to me it went backwards, they should have. It shouldn't have been anywhere near 12 gigabyte. I also unlike AO Tennis. Oh, you're kidding! Is server better on AO? Serving's annoying. Like, obviously there's no... Obviously there's no aiming in, uh... In Tennis World Tour. Like, you can't see where you're aiming it. But I'd rather have less... It's staggering in 2018 that we have two tennis games in such awful quality. I think Tennis World Tour will get better. But... Like, I just, uh, yeah, the crowd reactions, it's in the Xbox version now, but we're waiting on the patch for the PS4 version because I had a problem with it. So that'll change once the patch comes in. I can still hear that woman that says, come on, in the uh, audio, though. I wanted them to get rid of her. Remove her from the stadium. You know your download of player Roger Federer is bad. The original one is better with movements. Uh, it's kind of funny because it's probably the same person who created him. 
McEnroe is so annoying. Yeah, I have McEnroe's commentary turned off because I can't stand it. And to be fair, most people can't stand it, so I'm doing I'm doing people a favour when I go upload videos for that or do live streams on it. Oh, come on. It's funny how their the custom player's hair goes right through their backs. It's like their back doesn't exist. Oh, I hate that. If you want Macaro and Tennis World Tour, buy the Legends Edition rather than hear his commentary. Yeah, I've still got to look at the PlayStation Store to see if I can actually get. Uh... Whoops. To get McEnroe. Because obviously I just got the Standard Edition. I'm a bit worried if I try and download it, it'll it'll, it'll stop me from playing my my version of Tennis World Tour. Hey, I suppose tennis games are like golf. A AAA company cannot make money on them, so we're left with indie companies on small budgets. Pretty much, I don't think 2K are gonna make another one. It'd be interesting to see if EA Sports ever get back into it. I doubt it, but. Ah! 30, 15. I'll probably end the stream after this match, uh, by the way. I'll probably be back a bit later. Ow. Oh, you're kidding! 14, 15. Yeah, 2k check closed down as well, unfortunately. Well, they, they technically cl uh, turned into another company. Uh, no, that's actually incorrect. Uh, the only people that... Their only ties to Top Spin were making a game... Uh, Top Spin 2 on Game Boy Advance, and they had a few consultants from Top Spin 4 work with the team. They didn't actually do any developing on the game. They found that out uh, a little while ago. Uh, I, like, I found that out probably about a month or so ago. Most of the public didn't find out until recently. Um, there's still a lot of people that don't know. So, they they, they didn't actually, it, it was just a rumour that started and they didn't, they, they just, they didn't correct it. So, in a way, it, it's good marketing on their, their part. Like, it's a bit shady, but, uh, uh, nope, and EA Sports will never make another golf game either. Apparently, the golf club, 2019 is meant to be pretty good. Apparently they've got the PGA license. Which says all you need to know about EA Sports then. Game but to be fair, EA Sports have got FIFA, Madden, NHL, ooh, pardon me, NHL and then UFC. So they they don't they don't need any other franchises really when you look at it. So they're doing pretty good for themselves. Ah! Go watch the clay court graphics from Grand Slam Tennis 2. They are like, from awesome, they are awesome like eight years ago. Yeah, I'll have to, I, I think I've only watched one video on Grand Slam Tennis 2. That's discouraging about the serve. Come on! Why did you bother to hit that back? Really? Are you programmed to do that? Yeah, the the only video I watched on Grand Slam Tennis 2, it, it looked pretty average. The French Open started 5-10 minutes ago, but by the way, Grand Slam Tennis 2 sucks. 
Hey, what's up? I'm actually I'm actually not far away from ending the stream, so it's kind of bad timing to come in. I'll be playing Tennis World Tour a bit later. Hopefully the bloody update comes out for PS4 in that time. Yeah, loot boxes. <laughs> One-handed or two-hand backhand on random. Damn it. Yeah, the Tennis World Tour stream is probably a bit... Like, even though the gameplay is a little bit slow... Uh, it, shit. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit nicer. There's a game on Xbox 360 was okay, I forget the name. Oh, got lucky there. 30, Only a little bit through Detroit. So glad I traded in AO for this fucking masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you'd like it. Especially if you if you played Heavy Rain. If you played Heavy Rain, oh, you'll love it. it, it like, there's just so many different decisions to make. I just, yeah, it's just amazing. I've already, I've already, um, essentially killed two people, so... I don't know how that affects the story going forward. <laughs> I'll find out more tomorrow when I play it again. Let me know let me know on Twitter if you end up if you end up killing anyone. Yeah, I actually I actually played the first mission on the demo, so I kinda had an idea of what to do. Game set a match risk. Oh there we go. I lost. Five uh, six one again. How convenient. Uh, yeah, let, let me know on Twitter, uh, if you manage to kill anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna pretty much end the stream, uh, there. I'll come back with Tennis World Tour a bit later on. Probably before the Formula 1 race comes on, because I want to I wanna see if Daniel Ricciardo, uh, can win in, Mo in Monaco. What's your PSN? I'll, uh, uh, I will add you. Uh, it's, uh... See down the bottom right corner, Johnny DF eighty nine. You downloaded the demo, but didn't want to ruin it for yourself. Well, at least you know uh, the demo. The demo was actually that that first mission. That's all it was. That that was the demo, the first mission in the game, in the uh, the full game. So it, it wouldn't have ruined too much for you. But yeah, the first mission was pretty cool. I think I got ninety. 92% on it. Uh, yeah, the, so yeah, so my PSN has gone over to the left above my controller, red controller now. Just let me know when you've uh, when you've got it. Big selling point. That mission was awesome. Yeah, definitely. I like. If someone asked me if if they should buy that, I would say yes. Buy that now. Sell your house. Buy it now. Sell your car. Buy it now. Even though you wouldn't need to sell those things to buy it, but that's just how good it is. Like I'm about, I think I'm about two and a half hours into the game. I don't know how much more more of the game there is to go, but it yeah, it's it's just amazing so far. Any other uh, any other questions and all that jazz before I. Head off for a little while. It was so good to get rid of AO. Felt good to uninstall it. <laughs> yeah. And here I am still playing it. <laughs> I don't know. People like, people seem to like watching the videos on YouTube. So it is what it is. I've got time to time to kill. So why not? I don't have much of a social life. So. This is as social as social as I've been in quite a while doing these live streams. I'm not used to talking so much. It's a bit weird for me. 
Sometimes tennis games are like drugs. Give me more. Give it. 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 I'm okay. Hmm. Mmm, tennis. Yeah, I think... I think the main thing is people are crying out for a good tennis game and they, they just... Yeah, they see... They see a tennis game on YouTube and they're like, Oh, please let this be good. Just playing AO just feels like I'm going to a funeral. <laughs> Did you play God of War? No, I have not played it yet. Um, I might try and... I might try and pick... The, yeah, like crack... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, a bit of shit came out of my nose when when I read that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, I haven't played God of War yet, but I'm 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 probably going to look at getting that soon. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, I I don't have a PS4 Pro, but it looks like. It doesn't really matter which one you play it on, because Detroit Become Human is best to play on PlayStation 4 Pro, and I've just got a normal one, and and it, and it still looks fantastic. I see a uh, something to play whilst I wait. Well, obviously you you haven't got the option to even try playing. Excuse me, Tennis World Tour yet, so you know, uh, yeah, we just want a good online tennis game, please. We need good online, or it's pretty worthless. From what I've heard, Tennis World Tour will probably be peer-to-peer -peer as well, much like AO Tennis, so probably not good for us Australians, but hopefully I can get this tweak sorted with my internet connection, uh, as Craig was suggesting earlier. Ah, uh, no, it's a, it's a PlayStation exclusive, <laughs> sorry to say. But yet another PlayStation exclusive that is absolutely amazing. It must be hard playing on the Xbox and then seeing kill me <laughs> and then seeing uh yeah like I don't know if that's true but given the fact that they are such like they're a small developer as well it wouldn't surprise me to see peer to peer cuz I can't see them being able to afford uh uh to run servers Yeah, I've got to, I've got to play tennis. Uh, sorry, tennis elbow again. Um, I can't say it's better because I haven't played much of uh, tennis elbow. So I only knew what games to invest in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I have to wait to the NBN. I get the NBN. Yeah, definitely. Detroit looks interesting, but that child abuse story just puts me off. Yeah, that, that. Um, I'm still going through that story. Uh, I won't say too much about it because I don't know if Adam's been through that first part of the the story yet, uh, and I don't know if other people are going to play it, so I'm not going to ruin it on this stream. Uh, for anyone who wants to watch me play that game, I'll be playing it again tomorrow. Uh, I haven't figured out a time yet, though. There's no reason, really, to not own both consoles. They're both they're cheap enough. I can't I can't remember how much the Xbox One is in Australia. I can't think. I think it's like 200, maybe high 200s, low 300s. I'm not entirely sh Oh, no, it's probably more than that, actually. Someone help me out here. Adam, Craig, how much is it? Do you know? I, have, I haven't... Uh, I do plan on getting an Xbox One at some stage because I want to I wanna do some Forza uh, gameplay and stuff like that. I want to I wanna test out my racing skills because, yeah, I love racing games and... Eventually, I'm going to do Formula One 2018 when that comes out. I'll probably, I'll probably do live streams on that on on career mode or something. Everyone can watch me rage. In the UK, you can get them for like 149 pounds. 300 for one S, I think now. Well, that's not too bad. One S or one X. I know the PlayStation or 519, one or the other. It's still pretty expensive, cause I'll, I'll, I'll like before I get an Xbox One, I'll probably get a PS4 Pro. In all honesty, S. Okay. Ah uh, no, I haven't got Burnout Paradise Remastered. I've been thinking about it. It's pretty cheap at JB Hi-Fi. I played I played the original Burnout Paradise, and yeah, that was amazing. That'd be pretty in interesting to play. 
like just on a live stream. That'd be hectic. Because that game was hectic. I'm curious to see if there's going to be another Need for Speed this year or not, or if it, or if it's in, or if it's next year. I suppose E3 will be a big. Uh, I mean, E3 is going to be amazing. Everyone knows that. Uh, I'm curious to see when The Last of Us Two uh, gets, if it gets a release date or not. Yeah, Detroit's graphics are so good, even on the normal PlayStation. Best to wait until E3 for any new console, new console amount, and yeah, announcements. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything about the new new PlayStation or Xbox until maybe next year, because it, it seems like the PS5 will be 2021, possibly, maybe 2020. So I wouldn't expect to see anything next gen until next year. Brings back memories of playing it years ago on PS3. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it came out such a long time ago. Because what was that? Was that like 2007, 2008? Because I, like, I know the PS3 came uh, out in 2007 for Australia. I think it was late 2006 for for Japan. Yeah, I think it was March 2007. Because I remember I got it at launch and it was $999 Australian. What the fuck? Please play Tennis World Tour with Patch. Is it out yet? I haven't seen it. I was Xbox all the way until the current generation PlayStation exclusive won me over this time. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of so many good PlayStation exclusives. It, it's not funny. Uh... Yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think he's hopeful that the PS4 version has been released, uh, which you know we're still waiting on it because I've got automatic downloads set and I haven't seen anything. Plus, they're, they're apparently going to post on on Facebook and whatnot when it actually does release. I wonder if they will announce like a PS4 Pro 2 or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I'm sort of curious when GTA 6 will come out. I reckon GTA 6 will come out right before the end of the, the current gen cycle. And then they'll do a remaster, much like they did with GTA 5, for then the next next the next version. The ne uh, next gen. I'm getting more and more pissed, Big Ben. Yeah, I'll, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, if it's just delayed until that, that bigger patch uh, this coming week. It wouldn't surprise me. I know you, I know you you can't really stand to play the game at the moment. Like have you seen that have you seen that Xbox uh video that um Brees Rude shared or I think his name's Andrew? It looked alright in that. It looked improved. Like still it still needs work. But it looked better and the crowd atmosphere being in there was uh try applying Xbox patch. I can't do that. I have uh, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's still it's still rough, but yeah, it. I reckon give it a few updates and we'll probably be on the right track. Because I mean, evidently there's more gameplay. <laughs> evidently there's more. <laughs> evidently there's more games. Games. I can't speak now. Evidently there's more gameplay and. And a couple other things, and obviously online coming on, coming next week, so probably Friday or Saturday. Now, now, go easy. Hold my beer, Corona Ligera. Has anyone tried to Corona Ligera? Ligera, Ligera, I don't know how you say it. Spanish? It's Mexican, actually, but anyway. Actually, I don't know how old everyone is, so that might be a bad question to ask. Corona Ligera. Uh, top spin and Virtual Tennis dead, then. Uh, I think Virtual Tennis was made by Sega, or Sega, and uh, they haven't touched the tennis game since the last Virtual Tennis. And Top Spin was made by... And Top Spin was made by 2K Check, and they closed down. So I think we'll be lucky to see any one of those. Maybe they are going to surprise everyone on Friday with 
with uh, when the disc version releases in Europe, wishful thinking. Yeah, it doesn't even come out until the 12th of June for for Australia, technically, and a lot of other areas. So, And then obviously Steam doesn't come out until the 12th either. I'm hoping Top Spin come back this year. I can't see it happening, but who knows? We, like, we just don't know without inside knowledge. <laughs> do they do much at they, they don't they don't do a great deal at E3 do they? They they do they don't they obviously don't have a um unless they take part in the Sony or Xbox uh conference. They they don't really do their own conference though. Like EA Sports and a couple others. I'd be worried about too much DLC with EA. Or uh, microtransactions. That's ridiculous. Staggering, staggering the release in different countries. Yeah, I think they had planned for it to be out simultaneously on the 22nd of May. How how me, Adam, and a few others managed to get it on the 22nd in Australia is beyond me. 2K should release Top Spin 5. Actually, Top Spin 4 sales were actually really bad. That's why they. That's why they bailed on the game and that's why they folded it only sold a million copies so that's apparently why why they uh, folded what game are you most looking forward to seeing at E3 uh, I'm curious to see when The Last of Us Part 2 gets its release date because we don't know that yet I get the feeling it won't be this year I get the feeling it'll probably be like first quarter next year. I don't know if you're still in the stream, Craig, but if you are, get a PS4 just for that reason, if any. It was pushed back digitally in Australia at midnight. We somehow got it before it was delayed because we pre-installed and the pushback. Yeah, that's probably why we were able to get it. Because if we'd, if we'd tried any later, did not go through until 12.01 apparently. <laughs> oh. oh, I feel lucky that I that I bought it off the store during the day on Monday and then preloaded it straight away. Because if I, if I waited until midnight itself, I would have been screwed. No, yeah, it's not available in Australia at the moment. That's why... I've had a, I've had a number of Australians and New Zealanders comment on my channel saying, "Are you in Australia? How, how did you manage to get this?" Yeah, so it's I'm I'm pretty fortunate that I'm able to upload for it and uh, do streams on it because I shouldn't be able to, to be honest. That's why I probably won't be able to get McEnroe until until the twelfth. I spoke to someone at JB today and they are not happy with Big Ant or Big Ben. So what's the, the reason behind the delay? I don't know about the digital... I, I, I think it's to do with they wanted these patches to be in place before they released it wide, uh, like on a wider scale. But I'm not 100% sure. But with the retail copies, I don't know what the delay was for because apparently there was retail copies available in, yeah, available in France even before the 22nd, so I don't know, I, I, I think they just got overwhelmed with trying to push out all the physical copies. I don't know what the reasoning was for the digital side of things though, apart from maybe they wanted the game to be patched a bit more. Apparently they stuffed JB around heaps, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, because yeah, when, when we were trying to find out if it was delayed for the physical copy, I went into EB and yeah, the, the guy said to me, oh yeah, it's uh, 12th of June now. And, and then he said, have you pre-ordered it? I was like, no. And in my head I'm saying, I'm not getting it. I'm not buying from EB. I'm not stupid. I like my money. I don't like being ripped off. Go to JB every single time to buy a game. I cannot stand going to EB. Maybe we can ask Sega to or Sega to develop Top Spin. Uh, they they won't be able to do that because I think the the rights will still be with 2K for that for that title. 
yeah, JB's trading value is so much better. I actually enjoy talking to the staff too. The staff are actually better to talk to. Don't really like the staff at EB. Sega have too much to worry about at the moment. Yep, not wrong. Alrighty. Uh, gonna finish the stream there. I've been talking about other stuff for like 20 minutes. Uh, EB must be the UK of Cool of Game UK. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to take your word for it. Um, yeah, gonna end the stream there. Uh, Adam, I'll talk to you. Uh, Adam Monaghan, rather. I'll talk to you on Twitter. Uh... Yeah, if anyone wants to follow me on Twitter, it's just uh, at at Johnny D Gaming. Uh, I'll generally reply to messages, uh, uh, DMs, and uh, slide into the DMs. Yeah. Uh, on yeah, so I reply to messages on there. I tweet a fair bit, so about both these games. So yeah, I don't have an Xbox One. I've only got a PS4, so I can't try it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, talk to you there. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so if you want to follow me, send your friend request. Uh, I'm the Gambling Gamer. That's a nice name. Yeah, I'll accept you once I, once I jump off this. Uh, so, yeah if, yeah, if anyone wants to head on over to Twitter, just at Johnny D Gaming. And, yeah, I'll see you, see you guys a bit later.